Figure skating. It's one of the most mesmeric sports. The speed, spins, and smiles. And despite the creativity, flexibility, and artistry, in some ways, it's actually quite fixed. The Ice Queen image of beauty and elegance is one competitors have to adhere to. Grace is rewarded just as much as feats of athleticism. So what happens when someone who doesn't fit that mold takes the sport by storm with things like this? Surya Bonnelly was a pioneer, a sharp brush of fresh air, and in the eyes of those who dictated figure skating, a disruptor. She had faced discrimination and injustice throughout a career that in the eyes of many saw her robbed of many successes. And there's a lot we can all learn from her incredible story. Surrey Bonnelly was an athletic prodigy. Born in Nice, France and adopted by white parents, she came to excel in every single sport that she took her hand to. She developed skill, form and strength through fencing, horse riding and ballet. At age 12, she became world champion in gymnastics, but she had a stronger love for figure skating. She by all accounts experienced what David Epstein terms range, the value of being a generalist and how this can improve performance in specific domains through developing unique combinations of transferable skills. And Surya definitely developed an athletic advantage on the ice because of experiencing so many different sports prior to her specialism. The sharpened agility from fencing, the refined posture from horse riding, and the coordination afforded by ballet all amalgamated to give Surya a uniqueness on the ice that was breathtaking. And in 1984, age 11, she caught the eye of French national coach Didier Gaigue after being allowed to use part of the ice rink as he trained his skaters. Her promise led him to inviting her back for the rest of the three-week training program that he was running. And by the end of this period, she was just as good or even better than the rest of the skaters. So Gaigue invited Surya to train full-time with him in Paris. Almost in a heartbeat, her family packed up their life into a van and drove to the capital. Suri advanced quickly and age 12 used her gymnastic tumbling skills to pull off her first ever backflip on ice. A remarkable and completely unheard of act of athleticism in the sport. Something that was illegal though and prohibited in competitions. By 1988 she was French junior champion and by 1991 she was world junior champion. Her routines typically involved eight to nine jumps compared to her competitors who only averaged around six. And she stood out for various reasons. Her performances defied the norm of the typical figure skater. She was more powerful, explosive, and athletic. She also chose to wear unconventional colorful outfits that often drew scorn from judges. And of course she stood out because of her ethnicity. She was a minority in a sport overwhelmingly white. One where the archetype of the pretty young white ice queen was both consciously and unconsciously held up as the ideal that competitors should try to reach and mold themselves into. And standing out for all these reasons led to a lot of hardships for Syria. Analysts, journalists and judges regularly labeled her as lacking artistry, meaning that her presentation scores often dragged her overall score down in the controversial 6.0 scoring system. It was this apparent unfairness that led Syria to develop a hardiness like no other. She trained seven to 10 hours a day and knew that because of who she was meant that she'd have to go way above and beyond to get the recognition she deserved. It should of course not be this way, but it's an unfortunate lesson anyone facing some form of discrimination can learn from. That until wider societal and cultural views change, one has to, on an individual level, remain headstrong. But despite her hardiness, Surya faced a long line of injustices at major competitions. At the 1993 World Championships in Prague, she took silver behind Oksana Bayol, who narrowly won gold with high presentation scores. Surya had significantly more technical content in performing seven triples and several jump combinations, whereas Bayol performed five triples but did not attempt a jump combination whatsoever. These constraints quite rightly frustrated and angered Syria, who then also failed to medal at the 1992 and 1994 Winter Olympic Games. And perhaps her biggest frustration came at the 1994 World Championships in Japan. After years of failing to reach the pinnacle in major competitions, Syria gave in to some of the expectations that she had long fallen outside of. She improved her gracefulness, cut a thickly braided ponytail that judges had previously criticized, and wore outfits that would not draw score. She put in perhaps her best performance ever, yet the home country favourite, Yuma Sato, was awarded the gold medal ahead of Syria after a 5-4 tiebreaker. 
Upset by the result, Sirius stood beside the medal's platform rather than on it. She eventually stepped onto the platform but took off her silver medal after it was presented to her and was immediately booed by the crowd. Surya Bonley was an athlete who just couldn't win because of her style, her unique athleticism and her ethnicity. But her story doesn't end there. Despite the absence of an Olympic medal and world title, Surya Bonley got her victory at the 1998 Winter Olympics. After failing to fully recover from a ruptured Achilles tendon, she saw her final Olympics as a moment to leave her lasting impression on amateur figure skating. It was during her routine that she decided, just for the hell of it, to perform her trademark backflip and land it on one skate. The crowd loved it, the judges sat stunned and Surya had her moment. Despite being deducted points for this illegal move and finishing 10th, Surya went down as the major talking point of the games. Her fellow athletes lauded her in the Olympic Village and she remains the only figure skater to have performed and successfully landed this move in Olympic history. What Surya Bonley demonstrated was an immense sense of grit, the passion and perseverance to push beyond the limitations of what was deemed possible in an ice rink. She refused to settle and constrain herself to adhere to the narrow scope of acceptability that dictated how figure skating performances were judged. And because of this, decades after her awe-inspiring backflip, she is the one who is remembered. She was a pioneer, and that itself must weigh more than any medal.